Long Podcast. Okay, and the first prediction on my list is from Season 20, Episode 4, which aired in 2008. In this particular episode, Homer is seen to be trying to vote for Barack Obama in the US general election, but the machine was faulty and changed his vote every time he tried to make it. In the real world in 2012, in Pennsylvania, a voting machine had to be taken away due to it being faulty and changing votes for Barack Obama to ones of his rival, Mitch Ramney just as it did four years previously for Homer Simpson in that particular episode. Coincidence? Let's carry on. The next prediction is taken from Season 8, Episode 1. In this episode, which aired in 1998, television's hopelessly brainless but lovable character Homer Simpson predicts the mass of the Higgs boson, a whole 14 years before the actual discovery. In the episode, Homer becomes an inventor, he invents things such as the electronic hammer and the hilarious makeup shotgun. Later in the episode, he can be seen working on an equation on a chalkboard with donut pictures at the bottom. I'm not sure what he was trying to discover, but it turns out he actually wrote down the equation for the mass of the god particle, the Higgs boson, a whole 14 years early, making Homer one of the cleverest people of our time. In the real world in 1964, Professor Peter Higgs and five other physicists theorised that the Higgs boson particle could be a real thing. In 2012, on July the 4th, the particle was discovered by the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, thus making this Simpsons prediction a reality. And the next prediction comes from Season 6, Episode 19, which is titled Lisa's Wedding. This episode is set in the then future of 2010. In this imaginary future, wristwatch smartphones seem to exist. However, it was only in 2014 that these watches seemed to appear in the real world. And now with this one you could actually argue that um, many cartoons did feature the smartwatch many years before it was actually a reality. I think the Jetsons probably had it. I, I remember the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles had uh, communication devices with uh, video on them. So you could argue that the Simpsons didn't actually predict this and many other cartoons that came before it did. But I thought, what the heck, we'll include it anyway. The next prediction is from Season 23, Episode 22, Lisa Goes Gaga. Uh, this episode aired in 2012, and it would seem that The Simpsons foretold Lady Gaga performing whilst flying through the air on a harness. The real event took place at the Super Bowl halftime show back in 2017, which had Lady Gaga putting on quite a show. She started the routine by flying above the crowd on a harness, wearing a metallic-like outfit. Now, if we go back in time five years before, in 2012, in the episode Lisa Goes Gaga, the star is animated, entertaining the residents of Springfield, which seems to match the 2017 real-life performance at the Super Bowl, by flying over the audience on a harness, in an outfit that looked almost identical to the real-life one. Now, it's not known if Lady Gaga was actually inspired by the episode, but it is known that she was aware of the episode, as she did actually voice her character in the show. And the next prediction is from Season 4, Episode 6, Itching Scratchy the Movie. In this episode, the animated troublemakers Itching Scratchy, whose cartoons are always gratuitous in violence, have a billboard built in the episode to advertise their new movie. The billboard in the episode seems to be an animatronic billboard with moving parts, which shows Itchy hitting Scratchy over the head with a camera and fake blood spraying from Scratchy's ears all over the street below. Years later in the real world, in 2008, a billboard was erected by a TV network to advertise a movie, Kill Bill, which was due to be heard on their channel. The billboard showed Uma Thurman wielding a samurai sword, with fake blood that sprayed from the blade, covering the street below in very convincing fake blood, just like the one in the Itchy and Scratchy episode. And the next prediction is probably one of my favourite ones. It comes from Season 5, Episode 10, and is titled Springfield. In this episode, Mr Burns legalises gambling in Springfield and opens a casino. In this episode, the entertainers Siegfried and Roy, the magicians, are parodied on the show. And in this episode, we see the magicians viciously attacked by the White Tiger whilst performing on stage. 
Now, fast forward 10 years later, in 2003, in the real world, the magicians were performing on stage in Las Vegas with one of their trained white tigers when horrifically, Ray Horn was viciously attacked by the tiger and sustained serious injuries. Luckily, he survived, but his career, however, did not and came to an abrupt end. And the next on the list is from Season 2, Episode 4, which aired in 1990. Two cars for every garage and three eyes on every fish. In this episode, Blinky the Free-Eyed Fish is introduced in the series. The Free-Eyed Fish is a result of a leaked radiation in the lake, which mutated the fish, giving it an extra eye. In 2011, a mutated Free-Eyed Fish was found in the real world, in a lake near a nuclear power plant in Argentina. It would seem that Blinky is now a real thing, and Three-Eyed Fish now seem to exist in the real world. And the last one on my list is actually quite chilling. It's from Season 9, Episode 1, 1997. And in this particular episode, it is suggested that The Simpsons actually predicted the horrific, tragic events of 9-11. In this episode, we see The Simpsons travelling to Manhattan to recover the family car, which was taken by Barney Gumble, and abandoned outside the World Trade Centre. In a certain scene... Lisa Simpson can be seen holding up a magazine, which has the number 9 in bold print, with the image of the Twin Towers in the background, which also seem to look like the number 11. And when you put it all together, you get 9-11. This is probably one of the most disturbing predictions the Simpsons have so-called made. Apparently predicting 9-11, four years before that tragic day, when 2,996 people were killed and 6,000 people injured. On the day that the Twin Towers fell.